Remember the Buddha's instructions. Each time you breathe in, remind yourself, I have this breath. I can do a lot with it. Of course, the best thing to do with the breath is to train the mind. And we train the mind, not by focusing directly on the mind to begin with. We focus on the breath. Get the breath comfortable, get the breath smooth and even. Think of it soothing the whole body like a cream that soothes a rash. And for the cream to work, it has to stay. You don't put the cream on and wipe it off. You put the cream on. You put the cream on. You make it stay there. And over time, it does its work. In the same way with the breath. Once you get the breath calm and smooth, energizing when it needs to be energizing, relaxing when you need to be relaxed. You just let it stay there with the mind. Part of the mind will say, well, what's next? And you tell yourself, well, this is what's next, the next breath, keeping the mind here. This is a skill, making the mind stay, because the mind has this tendency to travel. That's what samsara is. We tend to think of samsara as a place, but it's actually a process that the mind does. It keeps moving on, moving on, moving on. It doesn't really know where it's going. It just keeps moving like incense, insects that head across the top of the hill. They don't really know where they're going, but just they head in some direction. So what we're trying to do as we meditate is give the mind a good direction. Atasamabhaniticca. When the mind is rightly directed, then it's a blessing. Otherwise, it just keeps going and going and going. And like a person who's wandering around at night and falls into it, this hole and falls into that and runs into this briar patch, who wonders why it's suffering. So we're going to teach it a new habit, which is to stay. Stay right here. This is the direction. The direction goes inside. And you'll see the tendencies of the mind that go flowing out. The more you can hold your ground, the more clearly you can see where those tendencies are going to go, and you can see also where they're coming from. And you learn to see what it is that pushes the mind, that keeps the mind going, going, going. So stay right here. Get to know right here really well. And the more you can resist the movements that want to move on, the more you're going to see.